Video and new testimony played out on national television following the Capitol insurrection. Yeah, uh, for the first time, we get to hear the House Select Committee's case against former President Donald Trump. Our Suzanne Bruner is with us this morning, and Suzanne, this was just part of those hearings. Yeah, this was just the first of a series of meetings to come in the, the next several weeks. The next one happening on Monday, Sonia. But this 11-month investigation finally made public during prime time last night. And on Capitol Hill, the U.S. House January 6th committee laid out its findings into what happened that very day. This hearing started with Trump's former Attorney General Bill Barr, who testified under oath. Barr said he didn't see evidence of fraud and did not believe the 2020 election was stolen, as Trump claimed several times, and also refused to say so publicly, leading to his resignation. Then Ivanka Trump's testimony was briefly played here. Despite Trump's own daughter believing the election was not stolen, the committee put it bluntly, President Trump provoked the riot with stolen election claims, even laying groundwork to overturn the results before the riot. And aware of the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence, the president responded with this sentiment, quote, maybe our supporters have the right idea. Clear, I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was. The committee showed a letter that was drafted for states where Trump lost. They read this saying, Quote, the DOJ identified significant concerns that may have impacted the outcome of the election. Now, Representative Liz Cheney uh, led most of this hearing, a symbolic show uh, to fellow Republicans still on Trump's side. Now, Trump and Republicans have downplayed the hearing, calling this a political attack. Again, that next hearing happening in just a few days on Monday. That starts at 9 a.m. Guys.